Hello! I'm Becky Trugier and I do all things art on my channel. Today I'm going to be looking at this huge box that was sent to me by CraftEase. They do paint by numbers and diamond paintings. Thank you so much for sending this to me. I got this for free but I'm not being sponsored although when you check in my description there is an affiliate link so if you click through that and you end up purchasing something then I do earn a small commission at no extra cost to you of course so let's just take a quick look at the outside of it how is craft ease different we actively promote independent artists and collaborate with them by remunerating them for their hard work and inspiring art so if you look on the website which i've linked down below they have a lot of designs that are sent in to them by various artists and the artists do get a commission every time they sell a piece so that's really fantastic basically each number is a color fill each area with its color and see the magic happen so i'm guessing it's a standard paint by numbers but it is pretty massive so i'm really excited to see what's inside let's take a look now shall we i have lifted my camera as high as it will go on the stand and it's still almost barely fitting so let's see if i can get this open nice and easy today hooray I might just have to move it a tiny bit. Wow. <laughs> okay, this thing is enormous. All right. I might have to move my camera just a bit so we can see what's on the inside of the box. Let's just move that up here. How cool is that? You can turn the box into an easel. I'm liking that. What a great idea. I chose a pink jellyfish. <laughs> I saw the picture and it immediately took my fancy. I've managed, of course, to pick the one that is in portrait format rather than landscape, but let's just swivel it around and bring it up to the camera just a bit so we can get a bit more detail in here. Oh yes, that's going to take a little while to do, I think. Although the background at least is fairly large in the spaces, so that should be okay. But this one, as you can see, has actually been mounted onto a board. Now they have different levels of paint by numbers that you can buy so you can purchase the basic kit which is just the canvas that's been rolled up or you can go for the pro kit which is the one that they've sent me which has already been framed in a um, one of those stretcher bar frames and stapled on which I think is fantastic because I am not very good at doing these things myself and I'd much rather have it already pre-made. This is I think 50 centimeters by 40 centimeters large so it's a big canvas much bigger than any of the other paint by numbers I've ever seen so I'm just going to pop that to one side uh oh okay it's in grayscale that could be a slight issue I think possibly it would be better if it was in the color scale so you could actually see what it's going to look like oh okay good 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 there is at least a small photo of it so that's a relief it's very very bright pink I just thought it looked really pretty and so I thought I would choose this one because I love bright colors thank you for supporting independent artists and look there's a 25% off my next purchase Woohoo! this looks like a holder for the paints which is really great because I don't know if you saw my previous video but my paint pots just ended up everywhere <laughs> and I won't be surprised if they do today because I just can't help it once I start painting I tend to forget and because they're acrylic paints they do dry really quickly and so you know I'm frantically pulling off lids and putting the lids back on when I'm done and yeah they always end up everywhere but I like the idea and I will try it out hopefully it will last for at least some of the painting this pack of brushes I think when you buy the basic pack these are the ones that you get and when you get the pro pack <laughs> you also get this pack of brushes which is pretty awesome I mean even in the basic pack usually any paint by numbers kit that I've ever seen only comes with one brush ever so the fact that this one has four is already a good start but then you get these ones if you upgrade and get the pro pack so um, the more expensive version but it's I think probably worth it to get the extra paint brushes and they look fairly decent they look like your basic sort of synthetic tack long brush so nothing super expensive but I'm sure they'll be fine for this I find tack long brushes are usually quite good for acrylic paints anyway not sure about these guys they look a little bit flimsier but all right I'm just going to take all of the brushes out 
they feel quite flimsy and light but they do have plastic ends on them which is always quite nice that protects the bristles from getting bent although this one doesn't have one but we've got sort of three smaller detail brushes and a larger flatter brush and in this set I'm just going to put these somewhere safe where I'll probably lose them and have to hunt for hours to find them again and let's open this big one here oh at least on here um, it's got a guide as well so there's a round a flat brush a filbert angular comb brush glaze or wash detail liner script and fan so that's a pretty decent selection and I can see that these will go into my brush collection for further paintings as well sorry about the racket there ripping that open all right so yeah these ones usually how I find taclons are maybe not the most amazing one you can see on this one it's not quite perfect so not super amazing although this one the filbert looks pretty good okay there's one that's got bent so you could see where having these little plastic things is beneficial because then they don't do that <laughs> but then at the same time you've got plastic waste so yeah <laughs> it's kind of a catch-22 there but let's just pop the brushes to one side and see what else is in here oh goody that's nice rather than having to draw the numbers on with a pen they've actually provided some stickers with the numbers excellent um these I'm not a hundred percent sure what these are I think there's something to do with mounting the picture but I'm just gonna put those to one side as well because I don't know we have oh my goodness they have added a scratch board in here it's like they know that I do scratch board art I'm guessing that is a stirrer and there is a lovely box here which is attached to the bigger box which has got the paints and so let's see if I can get the sun done sometime today <laughs> yeah they slide out wow that's the most paints I've ever seen in a paint by numbers kit look at all those pinks and purples it's so pretty I really love the pastel colors they're beautiful The box also folds into an easel which I think is a really great way to use packaging and I think you're actually supposed to cut off these tabs but I just left them on. It says turn your craft ease box into your own easel in three easy steps, simple steps I can't even read. Does it say to cut the pieces off? No, but I just folded them under and really all you have to do is there's a crease in the middle of the box and you just fold it up and rest it against this part of the box which is where the paints were and then you just rest your canvas there. For a lot of this painting you will see that I've actually rested the canvas against here because I found it was an easier angle for me but you can either put it here or you can put it resting up here and it works out really well so yeah excellent bit of ingenuity there and a great way to recycle some cardboard. There we go kind of like that I think but the only trouble is that I think I'm going to be sitting too far back there's a lot of space between me and the camera. It's actually going to be harder to see me painting because I'm going to get in the way. I'm probably just going to have to work my way down, but I think once I'm actually doing the painting, I'll zoom in a bit so we can see more of the detail. At the end of it, once it's all done, we shall see a lovely big view of it. I think that's the best way to do this because it's really huge. <laughs> so I found the other paint by numbers I did. By comparison, you can see just how much larger this jellyfish one is so yes interesting let's get started on this gigantic painting i started off with the edges of the canvas first most of it was black or very very dark blue so i thought this would be the easiest thing to start painting with also because the bits of it were larger as you can see there are bigger patches for the background 
the black paint was really thick and covered everything really well so no problems there I was quite impressed with how good the paint was and there were a couple of different blacks so one of them you can see is slightly more transparent than the other but the blackest black number 24 was excellent the dark blue here was a lot more transparent and I did end up going over this a second time but fortunately there was plenty of paint I had no issues with worrying about how much paint there was I was liberal with all of the pots and I still had plenty left over I did use up all of the pot for this color but I had two spares which was really great and I'm really happy that they provided some spare ones on colors which looked like they would be used the most frequently and the other reason to do the background is I figured that if I accidentally went over any parts of the jellyfish itself then I could just re go over the jellyfish with the colors and layer it on top of the background if that makes sense so yeah I've just basically I followed all of the numbers I went around from darkest to lightest I missed quite a lot of numbers because it was really hard to see them all they are tiny little numbers as you can see here and trying to find every single number of the same number <laughs> is very difficult so I ended up having to chop and change and open pots again I found that the lids of the pots were a bit of a pain in that after a couple of opens they got more and more difficult like you'd close it again and then it just would stubbornly refuse to reopen so I found that these little clippy lids are just a bit of a nuisance and I wasn't very happy with them but now I'm going on to the jellyfish because I just could not wait to start using the pink colors and it was really really complicated up the top here it took me ages this was probably the most complex part and that really bright pink is my favorite <laughs> probably not light fast at all but it doesn't matter it was so fluoro and vibrant and I really loved it I liked how they had a lot of variety in shades and interestingly enough there was not a white separately so it was basically all pre-mixed it might have been nice to have a white just to add my own highlights onto it but I mean it doesn't really matter I just basically stuck to the pattern as much as possible if I was doing this for myself I might have added a bit of extra but I thought for the purposes of this demonstration that I would stick as closely as possible to the pattern although you could see I wasn't very precise because I find with paint by numbers that it's actually better if you let the paint go over the lines a little bit because it looks more natural so I was employing my style of painting with a paint by numbers some people I know would be far more precise with making sure that they only painted inside every little area but for an acrylic painting because it's very stylized being paint by numbers it's not supposed to be hyper realistic it is actually better if you give more of an impressionistic look by just letting the paints sort of blob in and merge with each other a bit more if that makes any sense I hope it does <laughs> I'm thinking aloud here <laughs> I had a really good time painting this it was very relaxing if you've never done a paint by numbers before I highly recommend trying it it's really great for building your confidence if you just want to do something that doesn't require having to plan out an artwork from scratch or if you're a beginner and you just want to start learning how to use paints and how to use a paintbrush a paint by numbers is actually quite a good way just so you haven't got the pressure of trying to think of an original image all you're doing is focusing on the techniques rather than the picture so much itself and it's really fun it's like putting a jigsaw puzzle together or doing coloring in or a diamond painting anything like that it's very relaxing you can just put on music and chill out that's what I did with this I had my music going and I think it's such a wonderful way to relax to de-stress and enjoy making some pretty colors as you go along it's such great therapy also if you have a disability or if you're having any kind of difficult time in your life these things are so good just to make you feel better and happier it's a way of expressing yourself without it being too super difficult because I know from experience that when you have something like anxiety or depression it can be really really hard to create something so if you've already got the 
building blocks there and all you have to do is put the paint on it's so much more freeing and I found actually earlier in the year myself I was having a bit of trouble with all of the lockdowns and things we've had it's been quite difficult on my mental health and I was struggling with a bit of art block because I just couldn't really focus and I found that doing a paint by numbers actually helped inspire me to create my own art because I didn't have that pressure of trying to think of an idea I just you know painted a picture and it was pretty and I enjoyed it and so for me it really really helped get past that mental block and also it helped my anxiety a lot I've been far more relaxed just being able to know that I can do some art and not worry about all of the inspiration and creativity that comes around doing an original piece because it's not always easy just for anyone if you're an artist you'll know what I mean you have times when you just can't really think of what you're doing and you just need something to chill out with so I always find coloring in painting by numbers diamond paintings jigsaw puzzles anything you like is a really great way to get through it so yeah, as you can see, I've managed to talk for this entire video, <laughs> but yeah, I just have quite a lot to say about it, I guess. This actually took me a long time to do. I think I painted it, it was probably about three solid days of painting, which I did over maybe five days because I found that I was struggling at the end to focus on the numbers and I just couldn't do it for more than a few hours at a time but obviously if you haven't got a time constraint you know you could take much longer to do this the paint dries quickly it's really easy to use some of the colors were a bit transparent and you could see the numbers underneath but like I said there was plenty of it so you could glob another layer on top once it had dried and that got rid of the numbers I know I've probably still got a few numbers showing but I had just reached a point where I just needed to finish this <laughs> so I maybe didn't spend quite as long as I could have on it but that doesn't mean to say I won't go back to it at a later time and finish a few pieces which I see later but otherwise that's all I've got and here are the last few numbers going in I kept missing them and then I missed one there and one up there how annoying is that but I thankfully managed to see it before the end of this video so number six was my last color and here is the finished piece I actually really like how it turned out I'm so glad I picked this one it was a lot of fun I could probably spend a bit more time maybe blurring the background into each other but I just thought I would leave it as it was and this is what the paint by numbers looks like if you stick to it exactly and please forgive my messy studio. <laughs> I had fun with this. It was really good. I'm tired. It was very tiring to do because I also only had a short window of filming time. I'm really, really, really glad that these are all numbered with stickers and there was a nice little box to put them in. This helped a lot to keep them all in order and it was easy to find them. Like I said, my biggest gripe with them is these lids. This one's getting steadily more difficult to open and I can barely open it now. Look, there we go. I don't know if screw top lids would be better, but I mean, I can imagine they would get stuck too if the paint gets caked on, but these things are just not very good for your hands, especially if you have hand problems. Otherwise, I have to say 10 out of 10 for the design. This is the most convoluted paint by numbers I've ever seen and it was really great. There were lots of colors. It was something that wasn't super easy, so there's a bit of a challenge in it. And yeah, the canvas is really nice quality. I'm really happy with that canvas, it's lovely. And also the other thing which is really excellent and proved to be perfect for this, is this box which turns into a makeshift easel. Excellent. It really helped me. I was intending to put the canvas flat on the table. It was just so much easier to paint with it upright like this as it usually is with an easel. The brushes were fine. I used most of them at some point in it. I think I probably used this one the most. I do not know what happened to this brush though. <laughs> Let me just bring my hand up. <laughs> It just ended up like that. I did not do anything to it. It just, 
I don't know what happened, if it fell into the water or the paint. I can't find the leftover bristles, it's so weird. So unfortunately this brush is probably going in the bin because it's not really of any use. But otherwise the other brushes are fine and they will be good to use again. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And I will see you all again really soon in my next video. I'll swatch you later. Bye!